It was a depressed neighborhood. It was the ghetto. I mean, it was the most dangerous part of Nashville, Tennessee. It was as low as it could go besides being bulldozed. I basically came in the hood, I was 27 years old, and created my own reality. I created my entire own village, and I started with 20 bucks. It was the very first urban renewal job in Nashville, Tennessee, to bring the ghetto and the depressed area back alive, and it spurred off many, many others over the last 25, 30 years. We've made marathon. We spent in the last two, two and a half years working in an industrial museum, showing how the cars are made, how these things are hand put together. And it's real important about American made products. Garage Coffee came in and, you know, we talked about it. He said, My, it's called Garage Coffee. I thought, well, that's automotive. It's kind of cool for retail. It kind of ties into what we got. The, the best part of it is all local. And, and people in Nashville try, try to buy things locally. The local economy is important for Nashvilleians in, in itself. So this is just a, a place that facilitates that. It's not always the success of the project, it's the chase to the end of the rainbow. When you hit the end of the rainbow, it's no fun. It's the whole journey from start to getting there and what you go through to get there. You know, plus, you know, the thing about it, when somebody's kind of normal all the time, and then you do something kind of crazy, you go, oh my God, what's the matter with you? If you're crazy all the time, you go, oh, this just Barry. So you get away with it, if that makes sense. So, you know, being crazy and doing crazy projects, it's just the way to do it, man. Being fun and keeping it exciting. He's one of those people that just never stops doing something. If I can do it, anybody can do it. The last offer was like 65 million bucks for Marathon Village. And I said, what would I do with that kind of money? Life is not about money, it's what you do with your life. Money does not bring happiness, money helps. But you know, I could have sold out, and then they said, well you sell out, what are you gonna do? I said, what, what are you doing today? I'm watching Oprah. You know, you, you gotta do what you love. Before and after, you know, I wanted a lot of detail. That's great, that's great, that's great. That's great. Quality.